Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a Cupertino pop up surface. Basically, it's a rounded rectangle surface that looks like an iOS pop up, such as you know, the alert dialog or action sheet. And the Cupertino alert dialog, which is built into Flutter, is you know, based off of this. You probably won't use this directly because there's so many other, I would say, better ones, but I wanted to show you that you can decide. And if you want a bit more customization, you can use this one. Honestly, it's pretty easy to do. Obviously, I've got a button right here, which when clicked will open it up. You can put it wherever you want to trigger this pop-up surface. You just need to put show, Cupertino. You can either do it as a modal pop-up or the dialogue. Dialogue will be smaller. Modal usually you know, covers the entire screen. And the next task, experiment with the modal pop-up. It's basically just changing the name. So what we want to do is add a context and a build that. So the con wrong place the context the context is going to be context the builder is a bit more interesting to say the least and um, is going to be build context context and we use the arrow operator so it's going to invoke this and we are going to put super tino pop-up surface in here, you can just we can there's only three properties: child key, and it is surface painted. So you know, basically, if you have that sort of you know blurry background, again, add an extra task. Feel free to experiment with that. I highly recommend it. So for the child, you could go a bit more complex than what I'm going to do. You could put a container or a column or something, and put multiple widgets. But I'm just going to simply put a text item in there and say hello. So if I save that, I reload, click it, and there we go. Actually, sorry, I made a little mistake. The Cupertino dialog is the one that covers the entire screen. The modal one is basically just at the bottom. And that is really it, to be fair. There's not much more to it than that. If you don't want it to you know, go over this area, you need to add like a safe area. So you will need to use child safe. area uh, outside the container there we go and let me sort out this indentation as well there we go so if i save that now and let's turn it off Save this again. Mm. Still going for the full screen. Uh, this is on Android, my mistake. And obviously, you can add padding as well. So we didn't need the safe area. So I'm actually going to be. Actually, I'll, leave, I'll leave it for now. I will leave it. And the other way was show modal. Cupertino you know, modal pop up. If we do in this form instead, it's just like a little thing at the bottom. So it's just like a bit of information and it takes the focus off everything else. And that's it for the pop up surface in Cupertino. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.